Hello, I'm Arlene Bornstein. In this week's Commission Connection, we sat down with Commissioner John Herbst. We talked about the unsheltered community in the city and the Beach Community Center improvements going on there. Let's take a look. All right, well, thank you so much, Commissioner Herbst. One of the topics you want to talk about is the unsheltered community here in the city. Tell us more about that. So as you're aware, um, there has been an increasing number of homeless throughout the country. Fort Lauderdale is no different than any other community that's experiencing this challenge. Uh, certainly Florida is a desirable place for people to live and that applies to the in-house as well. And so we have had long time uh, problems in our downtown area, which we resolved, but by doing that, we wound up pushing that out into the neighborhoods. So what we're now seeing is in a lot of our residential communities, they're experiencing an influx of homeless that they've not seen before. And that's a change that's bringing people concern. You know, there are several community programs, initiatives with the Fort Lauderdale PD especially. Tell us about that and what we're doing here in Fort Lauderdale. Sure. We have a number of programs. We have a homeless outreach team, and then we also have a homeless task force within our police department. And we partner up with a number of community organizations so that we can try and provide a comprehensive, holistic approach to dealing with some of the challenges that people experience. The governor has spoken out about legislation regarding homelessness. Um, and some people agree with it and some people don't. Tell us what your thoughts are on what he wants to see happen. So one of the things we've seen is that we have a limited number of tools with which to address this problem. And I think what the governor has done is he's given us one more avenue that we can look at to try and create uh, solutions around this. And a big part of this is it's now going to require the county and the city and our other cities within the county to work together because homelessness is a regional problem. This is not a Fort Lauderdale problem, but it does tend to impact Fort Lauderdale a little bit more than some of our other communities because we're the county seat. So I think this legislation is going to create an impetus for all of us to now sit down, work together in a collaborative fashion, and come up with a regional approach to how we deal with the situation. All right, shifting gears to something more positive, the Beach Community Center, uh, we're taking some city input for improvements through the Parks Bond Program. Tell us more about that. That's in your district. So this is exciting. Yeah, it is. So we have been looking ever since we did the Parks Bond to find uh, locations throughout the city that we could add to our park portfolio. We've got roughly about 110 parks throughout the city, some large, some small. And we're always looking for opportunities to do more with that. Uh, in this case, we're not acquiring new land. What we're doing is we're repurposing existing land. We have a parking lot that sits in front of our Beach Community Center, and the previous commissioner, Heather Moritis, had worked with the community to come up with some ideas about what they might like to see at that time. But if you remember back then, it was during COVID. It was a different time. People were not getting together in person, and so it limited the input that we had from the community at large to have uh, to have uh, a say in what was going on out there. So we've decided that a fresh start really makes sense right now. So we're holding meetings both uh, in person and we're going to be doing them online as well, and we're trying to bring as many people in to sort of tell us what they'd like to see. Um, we've got a limited amount of money. We've got about three and a half million dollars. So we have to be somewhat creative in what we do. And we're basically trying to gather that input uh, about what people would use on a regular basis. So whatever we do there, we need to make sure that we activate it, that we bring people there, that it's a utilized facility, and that it adds value to the neighborhood. So our first meeting went great. We had about 100 people turn out. And we had a variety of suggestions, everything from doing nothing candidly, um, because that parking that's there right now is very important to the business community, to doing two-story buildings and indoor pickleball courts and, uh, and a variety of things, uh, enhanced summer camp opportunities for children. Mm -hmm. So again, we have a lot of ideas and we're going to continue to gather those ideas and then try and come back with something after the end of summer and bring back uh, a, a first round of proposals back to the community and see what they think about it. So information about where you can come and see all this online and, and register your input it will be available on the bottom of the screen. That's right. Uh, you'll see that at publicinput.com slash Beach Community Center at the bottom of your screen. You can weigh in on all these exciting opportunities and make a suggestion on what you'd like to see at the Beach Community Center. Thank you so much for joining us. Arlene, thank you. Appreciate your time. Of course. And we'll see you soon.